All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started today. The first order of business will be bill introductions, and I believe that we have one from Kevin Robertson. Good morning, Madam Chair. I'm Kevin Robertson, Executive Director of the Kansas Dental Association. We do have one uh, bill introduction we would ask you to introduce uh, on our behalf. It's uh, RS-1099, RS-1099, uh, Dentistry Insurance Payments and uh, Related Networks. This is a template legislation from the National Council of Insurance Legislators in COIL, uh, who worked some things out with the American Dental Association on a national level, and we'd like to to run it up the flight pole here and see what we got. Scott, do you have that number? I do. Thank you, Madam Chair. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next, I believe Nick Wood has a uh, bill introduction. You do? No, you reach your number. Welcome to committee, Nick. Thank you, Madam Chair. We just we have the, the uh, same request for a bill. It's uh, reviser number 1098. This would be uh, a bill for people with IDD to create a crisis uh, behavioral health services program across the state. Uh, it's something we've been in conversation with this committee before on, and as well as KDADS, and we have an internal task force at uh, Interhab that has been looking at best practice models used across the country, and that's what this bill is patterned after. So, All right. Scott, do you have that number? All right. Thank you very much, Nick. Is there anyone else with a bill introduction besides Representative Epley? Maybe we should vote and see if he's met his quota. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Representative Epley. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm just a repository of great ideas. That's all I can say. Uh, I'm here to uh, formally uh, introduce uh, 21RS1100 on behalf of KIMSA, uh, which is a Medicaid supplemental program called uh, through an FRA to increase federal funding on EMS in the state of Kansas. They always need more funding. And Scott? that's it. All right. Is, are there any other bill introductions? All right. Seeing none, we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, working House Bill 2160 on the CCBHCs. Um, there was a lot of discussion last week uh, and a request made uh, from the from Sarah that Sarah Furtag that we look at a different start date on that. And I did have discussions with her as uh, well as a couple of other people. And uh, I believe Scott Abbott, you have an amendment. Scott, oh, you're bringing it up on the screen. Yes, Madam Chair. So can you all see that okay? Yeah, if you do have your laptops, you can go to the left-hand side because I can't see that small print personally. So you can actually look at the little positive and negative eyeglasses there to the left and enlarge it. Okay, so we have a simple one today. Uh, so this would be on page one of the bill in line 35, uh, striking the July 1, 2021 deadline for implementation and changing that to May 1st of 2022. Is there a second? Second. All right. Motion made by Representative Lamware, seconded by Representative Kelly. Discussion, comments, questions. Representative Parker. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll, I'll be brief. I, I just want to say I appreciate the work of all the different conferees and members of the committee in trying to sort out an agreeable date for everyone, and I'm glad that we were able to accomplish that. Thank you very much. Further questions or comments? All right, seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Ayes appear to have it. Ayes do have it. Motion carries. We're back on the bill. Are there any further amendments? I didn't have any other ones, did I, Scott? <laughs> I'm just checking. I've been bounced between a couple of different bills, and this morning I had Scott looking for, for something in a bill that didn't even exist because I was off on another bill, so... I'm kind of double checking things today. 
Seeing no further amendments, do I have a motion to advance House Bill 216 favorably? Representative Epley. Thank you, Madam Chair. Funded. I would like to uh, have the committee move House Bill 2160 as amended out favorably for passage to the floor. Is there a second? Seconded by Representative Parker. Questions, discussions, comments? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Ayes appear to have it. Ayes do have it. Motion carries. That committee concludes our business for today. We will take up uh, tomorrow, unless there was something else I forgot. Okay. Um, tomorrow we're going to start on the uh, telehealth bill. It will be the intention that we, uh, you know, get through the hearing process. And if we still have some time, we may go ahead and start open up working the telehealth. So if you have uh, amendments or you know folks that do have amendments, we'd appreciate getting those and, and hopefully seeing them. It would be nice not to have any surprises out there. Uh, this bill was actually designed by a group of individuals, so I have not put any language whatsoever in that bill. It was recommended highly from the Mental Health uh, Modernization Task Force for us to extend out with our, our telehealth. And uh, we do have a section out of House Bill 2066 that uh, was the Occupational Licensure Bill that was in the uh, Commerce Committee. And in that bill, there was a section that dealt with mental, with telehealth that has been removed from that bill and that will come in as an amendment to this, to the bill tomorrow when we work it. We also have, um, there will be an amendment on that language, I believe from the Board of Healing Arts and maybe one or two other individuals that I'm aware of that, that's out there. Um, I know that we have some other uh occupations that are interested in being a part of that. So we'll be hearing from some of them tomorrow. Are there any questions about what's happening? Representative Bishop. Thank you, Madam Chair. Could you give me the number? I don't think you're. 2206. Thank you. It's got kind of a funny name and I'm not sure why, but it wasn't by my design, so. You know, I, I felt that it was important that the industry take and work on it. And I know there's some things that uh, some people would like to see in that bill that are not in there. And I just want to everyone to keep an open mind that this will not be the last bill that will probably occur on telehealth. But this does, does advance us forward in making sure that what we have happening today will continue on into the, the future. So any further questions or comments? All right, seeing none, we're adjourned till 1.30 tomorrow.